Mulligatawny is a hearty soup that dates back to the late 1700s. It's really not an Indian dish, but Indian inspired. Many ingredients are cooked together to form this delicious and hearty soup. Loosely translated to pepper water, milagu means pepper and tanni means water in Tamil. In this one pot recipe, I'll be using my instant pot. Add some oil to the pot and allow it to heat up. I'm going to start with one cup of shallots and one teaspoon of sliced chilies. I'm using red chilies, but you can also use green chilies if you like, or you can leave the chilies out completely. Next, I'm going to add a quarter cup of finely chopped ginger and a quarter cup of finely chopped garlic. This will provide a nice burst of flavor in each bite. A key South Indian ingredient is curry leaves. I've sliced this into thin shards using a scissor. Add a quarter cup and saute. Of course, if you don't have curry leaves, you can omit this, but it does add a unique flavor. I'm going to add two cups of cubed beef this is roughly 300 grams. I've chosen beef as my protein. You can use chicken, seafood, or even keep it vegetarian. To flavor this, I'm going to add one tablespoon of garam masala, followed by one tablespoon of cumin powder. I'm also going to add one teaspoon each of turmeric and chili powder. Mix this all together. Now I will add in one medium tomato that I've quartered. Note that since I'm using a pressure cooker, I've cut this quite large, but if you're using a pot, cut the tomato smaller. Next, I'm going to add one cup of tamarind pulp. I've added tamarind to one cup of hot water. I've allowed it to soak, and now I'm just going to strain it in. I'm going to add half a cup of red lentils, also called masoor dal. I've soaked this and drained it. I also have half a cup of red kidney beans that I soaked overnight. I didn't pre-cook this as the pressure cooker will take care of this, but if you're using a pot to cook your soup, cook the beans separately and add it in. For texture, I'm going to avoid using canned beans. Add in 900 ml of beef stock, chicken stock, or veggie stock, depending on the protein of your choice. Add salt to taste. Pressure cook this for 12 minutes so the beef, lentils, and beans all cook together. Once the pressure drops, Open the pressure cooker, taste for salt again, and add salt as required. Now for the rest of the veggies, I'm adding these in as I don't want to overcook them. Add a quarter cup of diced celery, and a half cup each of red pepper, green pepper, carrots, and leeks. I'm also going to add one tablespoon of oregano. For a little body, I'm going to add in two teaspoons of tomato puree. Mix this in. It can't be pepper water without a healthy amount of fresh cracked pepper. I've got one tablespoon here and I'm going to add it in. Allow the veggies to cook just for a few minutes. For the final few ingredients, I'm going to add in half a cup of cubed apples. This balances the spice really well. I'm also going to add in half a cup of cooked rice. I prefer to add cooked rice as I want to omit the excess starch. To give my soup a little bit of body, I'm going to add a half cup of coconut milk. Just a little tip, if you're using organic coconut milk, it's a good idea to process this in your food processor just so it's nice and smooth in your soup. Finish 
finish off with chopped coriander. Some recipes call for the soup to be blended. I prefer my soup to be somewhat clear with a myriad of textures and flavors. Try this recipe, you won't be disappointed. Enjoy.